The nation's potato crop is a foundation of the American diet. Growers are committed to producing the very best potatoes for fresh market and processing. They take equal pride in growing potatoes in a safe, sustainable manner, as good stewards of the environment. Each year, the National Potato Council recognizes two growers for outstanding commitment to these principles. The Environmental Stewardship Award winners for 2010 are Mercer Canyons, Prosser, Washington, and Walker Brothers Farm, Malin, Oregon. Mercer Canyons is a fourth-generation farm located in the Columbia Basin. The family's experience on the land, utilization of science and technology, and a long growing season result in a bountiful crop of potatoes on 1,800 acres. The Mercer family grows a dozen other crops, leaving every field out of potatoes for at least two years. This crop rotation strategy benefits the environment. First and foremost, what we're trying to do is make the overall operation profitable. But secondarily, we, we really try to diversify the crops um, so that we can extend rotations out in, in all of our crops. And that allows us to really focus on uh, keeping good biomass in the soil and always using different chemistries. The farm uses an on-the-go soil sensor called an EC cart to map soil characteristics for precision application of fertilizer. With the EC cart, we can generate files where we can prescribe certain fertilizers in these areas where we find some deficiencies for nutrients, and then we can also adjust our pH, which is probably the most important. Keeping the soil in place is a top priority because of strong wind gusts. Trees, wind fences, and cover crops are the lines of defense. We work doing lots of different things anywhere from covering fields with uh, straw mulch to, to planting barley in the field as we're planting other crops, or at the end of the year always uh, getting right behind the uh, harvester, sometimes flying on wheat seed as we're harvesting to bring a cover crop up to protect for the fall. Pesticide usage is minimized in a number of ways. Rotating crops, sampling soil, scouting fields, even selecting the potato varieties to plant. When pesticides are necessary, farm personnel who apply chemicals must be trained and licensed. We don't stop there. It's too big an issue. It's, it's too significant to stop there. So prior to the start of every season, we have a, a big meeting. We bring everybody in. We test all the equipment. We you know, sit down. We go over our own internal documentation about safety procedures and application procedures with everybody. And then on a monthly basis after that, they sit down and talk about those same issues over and over again. Mercer Canyons has a philosophy of giving back to the community and the land. One example is managing habitat for wildlife. We're not out here just tilling up ground. We're actually improving Mother Nature and creating habitat and stuff for the wildlife that exists out here. Deer, pheasant, chucker, quail. Walker Brothers Farm grows 2,300 acres of potatoes in the Klamath and Tule Lake Basin of Oregon and California. They sell chipping potatoes here in the U.S. and overseas in several emerging markets. Recently we're selling into Indonesia. We just got a, we got a new, new little bit of business last year with them for this year. And we try very hard to, to make sure everybody's treated equally, whether it's the Asian customers or our customers here in the U.S. The effort that goes into growing and marketing potatoes extends to environmental stewardship. Walker Brothers believes in wise product use, scouting fields, never over spraying, and rotating crops and chemistries to avoid pesticide resistance. We've been able to cut back on our pesticide use more so in the thought of only using the pesticides when necessary and making sure that the population of the pest is built up to a point of needing suppression. Because so much in agriculture, you may see some pests, but if they are not causing harm to the crop, why should we go after and spend the input of cost to go after them? They're also careful to protect water sources from agricultural chemicals. 
We use buffer zones and we plant ryegrasses on the edge of the fields to ensure that the water stays on the cropland. And if it does hit the bank or anything, that the, the ryegrass will, will hold it away from our water supply. We also use chemigation valves and we use those on every pump to make sure that we keep the safety of our water supply. We're either well or ditch water so all the chemicals go where they deserve to go onto the crop. Tricia Walker Hill handles relationships with government agencies involving wildlife habitat. Because we do farm on a national wildlife refuge, we work closely with Fish and Wildlife and the refuge manager there. And one of the things we, that we do is allow them to flood our ground during the fall to provide more habitat for the winter migrations of the birds. It also helps us because it pre-irrigates our land for the spring, but mostly we do it because we want to support our national wildlife refuge. Top quality potato production, marketing, environmental stewardship, all are important to these award winners. In the agriculture industry, we need to be more vocal about how we care about the ground and how we take care of the ground, and I think a lot of times that gets lost and what people, when they see our big combines and big tractors, we're all stewards of the land or we're not in business anymore. The Environmental Stewardship Award is a component of the Pesticide Environmental Stewardship Program of the National Potato Council and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Sponsorship by DuPont Crop Protection helps make this award and video presentation possible. Congratulations to the 2010 winners.